Hello my soccer universe. Well, wearing Real Madrid because if you've seen my Twitter or Facebook pages, this is the jersey that was pulled out by my random number generator and it's kind of fitting. And as I said, this is one of my favorite jerseys uh, just by the look, look of it. We have a pretty packed weekend with seven competitions that we're looking at. So, uh, and probably the last time that it's that packed because that's the last round in Germany. But we'll start in La Liga uh, first where, yeah, I probably will watch Barcelona this time because they play at a normal time, five o'clock and playing at Celta who have been in pretty good shape over the past few, uh, past few days. That's an intriguing matchup and potential trap game. There's also the uh, Derby de la Comunidad between Villarreal and Valencia. That looks interesting, although it, no, it's, Le, uh, it's uh, Levante who plays in the small stadium close to Benidorm. So uh, that is interesting. Um, other than that, Getafe Real Sociedad sounded like a really great match, but none of these have won since the restart. I uh, actually am more intrigued on Sunday by Espanyol against Real Madrid, but um, there is a good chance, good chance that Real Madrid will be clear on top, uh, given the recent form. Let's leave Spain and go to England, where we actually have the FA Cup quarterfinal stage. Um, four matches and all four, I think, have pretty clear favorites, I, I would say. Uh, you would expect United uh, to win over Norwich. Sheffield United against Arsenal should be the nominal um, highlight match. However, Sheffield United have not really played well and do I need to say anything about Arsenal? So mm -hmm. that's the stumble game and Leicester City against Chelsea is another uh, huge match. If you look at the table, but again, I'm not so sure about Leicester City. Chelsea has been all right. So let's see there. Um, that could be, that probably is exciting, but I have another game at the same time happening. So I'm not going to watch that one. And then uh, late, we also have Newcastle United against Manchester City. Another uh, pretty interesting matchup, I can say. And because of that, the next Premier League round is, of course, extended over the entire week and into, to, into the week. So I'm actually thinking, yeah, I'm going to make a highlight video for uh, Friday morning to summarize all the action because, it, you know, just to keep it a little bit in check. But um, what do we see? So over the weekend and now focusing only Saturday, Sunday and Monday, um, we have a Midlands star between Aston Villa and Wolves, or Watford against Southampton. Yeah, and Crystal Palace against Burnley, nothing all that great, of course. You can already look forward to Manchester City against Liverpool. Either there will be a guard of honor for Liverpool, or this could be the uh, game where Liverpool with a draw we could win the title. So let's see about that. Let's move Germany last round. Many games, however, we can focus straight on just a couple of these. First of all, Gladbach against Hertha and Leverkusen against Mainz are uh, deciders for the Champions League spot. Gladbach uh, holding the advantage, but need to get a win. A draw is not enough. And intriguing enough, Hertha uh, beat Leverkusen last round. So can they pull the same against Gladbach? So uh, that is one. Uh, point where we have to look at and then the other game is the other two games that are of interest are Union against Fortuna and Werder against Köln um, where yeah Union Werder would need Union to get a result against Düsseldorf so that Bremen can leapfrog them and get the relegation spot I think these are the two most interesting ones there is a um, distance duel for I think the last Europa League spot between Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim uh, Hoffenheim is playing in Dortmund, Wolfsburg at home to Bayern. And yeah, can Bayern crack the 100 goal mark? That would also be uh, an interesting story there, most likely not. Although there have been talks, yeah, let, let them play out a 5-5 in the first half and then let's play for real. Uh, something like that. Anyway, let's move further to Italy, where actually there is a host of uh, good games, I have to say. The nominal biggest game of course is Milan against Roma although it has very little to do with the championship I actually find Lazio Fiorentina uh, more intriguing although Fiorentina is not a good but Lazio needs to bounce back from the loss to Atalanta and also at that time you will already have won against Lecce most likely so there's quite something to play for um, similar stuff goes for Inter who have to play away to Parma with a really a pretty good start 
to the restart. Um, so that is a, is one that I find uh, rather intriguing. And of course, Udine Atalanta. Can Atalanta keep up their great scoring form? So uh, quite some stuff in there. Portugal uh, on Monday, the bow, two big boys play. And yeah, if you have seen anything, and I've not talked about it yet, but if you have any anything of the last round, um, it's actually worth what watching, seeing one of them always stumble, although Porto now should be firm favorites moving forward. And lastly in Austria, um, yes, Mattersburg with a win against Admira Vaca could actually stay up. That's in, in, interesting, but you know, it's uh, St. Burton, Admira and Tirol who basically fight for uh, against rele relegation. Everything can change at any time. Uh, in the championship round, um, yeah, Salzburg needs a draw to clinch the title because of their superior goal diff. The difference loss can keep Wolfsburg at bay and kind of secure second uh, slash third spot, uh, assuming that Rapid will win against Sturm Graz. Well, this is what's to watch this weekend. I think they're quite some interesting game with probably the highlight. Yeah, for me, it's uh, it's CSRA, but the last round of Bundesliga and FA Cup um, and a little bit CSRA throw thrown there looks all quite interesting. Let me know what you'll be watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.